Greeting cyber dogs and citizens of the internet and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Hearthstone with me Ren Diggity Dog. In the previous episode we were defeating the Blackrock Spire Wing in the Blackrock Mountain solo adventure and in this episode my friends we are going to be taking on the Black Wing Lair Wing of the Blackrock Mountain solo adventure and man it is going to be absolutely awesome. We are also going to be cracking open three fresh new freaking booster packs on the hunt for some more legendary cards and we're going to be taking out a brand new hunter's deck for a spin also so it's going to be an absolutely awesome uh, episode of slinging guys i hope you got a tasty ass beverage hope you got a crunchy ass snack i hope you are comfortable and ready to play some hearthstone man because i certainly am let's get right to it my friends let's go and open three new freaking booster packs the last time we did this, we didn't get it. We haven't got any legendaries yet out of our brand new booster packs, unfortunately. We've only cracked three open so far, so there's still a chance that we'll be able to get some legendaries over the next coming episodes. But let's do this thing. Let's uh, just jazz up the plasma a little bit. I find that that helps with the luck factor. All right, here we go, my friends. Let's open up our first classic booster for today. And we've got a common, a rare... A legendary! Oh man, I can't believe that actually worked. I can't believe that jazzing up the plasma actually worked. That is awesome. All right, I'm super excited. Let's open our commons first, guys. We have got a wrath for the druid, a summoning portal for the warlock, and a loot hoarder for all classes. But who really cares, right? I don't care a, a single bit about any of these cards right now because there is a golden one right over there. Let's open up the red. What do we get? We get a foil bite for the druid. So not only do we get a foil card in this booster pack, but we get a legendary also. I mean, how how much more luck can we actually get, my friends? Let's crack the sucker open. Harrison Jones! Yes, I have wanted this card so bad, my friends. And this is a legendary card that can go into basically any deck that you make. I mean, look at this. Battle Cry, destroy your opponent's weapon and draw cards equal to its durability so sometimes you are drawing three four five cards when this bad boy comes into play plus it's a five four four five and it is a beautiful target for recombobulator in our priest deck that is just insane i cannot believe we just picked up a harrison jones guys absolutely awesome i'll take that oh and also a foil bite i'll i'll, I'll take that too man and that was just the first pack for today oh my goodness all right let's jazz up the plasma again see if this will help again come play them yes you got a harrison Jones, I'm so happy, man. All right, we got a rare, a common, a common, a common, and a common uh, South Sea deck, and silence for the priest. Lightning bolt for the shaman. I think that is now our set and priestess of Elune. Restore four health to your hero, five, four for six. Yeah, not a bad card, I guess. Let's open up our rare for today. It is an organized soul priest. Sweet. That's basically 20 arcane dust guaranteed, which is epic. So not too sad about that particular pack. We've got one more pack to open today, guys. That is goblins versus gnomes. Jazz up the plasma. Plam. Oh. <laughs> Jazz up the plasma. Boom. Shake, shake, shake the roof. Oh, man. All right, let's see what we get, guys. We got a rare. We got two rares in this pack. Three rares in this pack. Oh. Okay. Let me just take a moment to breathe. Whew. Let me just check that again. Legendary, rare, rare, rare. Is that even possible? Oh my goodness, guys, I can't believe jazzing up the plasma has actually worked. This is insane. Three rares and a legendary in one pack. I mean, come on, that is just ridiculous. All right, let's start with the rares. And it's a foil siege engine for the warrior. I don't even know what it does, but it looks badass. What's our next rare? A madder bomber? Not too bad. Oh. Third rare is a Mistress of Pain for the Warlock. Whenever this minion deals damage, restore that much health to your hero. I can't believe this is just ridiculous, man. All right, let's crack open the legendary, my friends. Kablam! Legendary! Blingtron 3000. Battle cry, equip a random weapon for each player. Five mana, three, four. It's a mech, which could go into our mecha mage deck, right? That seems kind of cool, I suppose. It seems to combo ridiculously well with Harrison Jones, actually, now that I think about it. Because our opponent gets um, a weapon and then we can blow it up with Harrison and draw a ridiculous amount of cards. I'll, I'll take it. 
Oh man, guys, what an absolutely ridiculous session of crack packing. Definitely the best crack packing session we've had so far. Uh, I'm, I'm literally just speechless right now, guys. I can't believe that we managed to pick up uh, though, that amount of awesomeness in our packs. Absolutely awesome. Let's get Harrison Jones directly into our deck ASAP. And I also want to show you the changes that I've made to the Hunter's deck, guys. I've got a couple of Iron Beak Owls in because this is a beast, of course. And I've dropped those the really bad 1-1s one that I had. Uh, I think I had the Hawk and I had a, another Charging Boar that was really terrible. You guys told me it wasn't a really good choice. So I've put in a couple of Core Rages, which we picked up from the last wing of the Blackrock Mountain Adventure. I've stuck in Makesna because, of course, Makesna is also a beast. I've added in Tundra Rhinos because it gives all of our beasts charge, which is excellent, especially with things like Savannah uh, High Main, for example. Really nice little combo going on over there. I've taken out the um, Sludge Belchers because I don't think they fit that well into this kind of deck. I mean, it's not really a beast. It's a taunt minion, doesn't do that much damage, and we are on the plan of dealing aggro damage ASAP in this particular deck, guys. So yeah, I took that one out. I think what I'm going to do is drop one uh, Iron Beak Owl to get our Harrison Jones in, and that is our beast deck for today. I also think I want to play around with our Cyber Mecha Mage deck. I kind of want to get the Harrison Jones in, as well as the um, that other that 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 Tron 3000 mech that we got. Um, now, I don't, I have no idea what to drop out of this deck because this deck is pretty tight as it is. Um, but I suppose to get Harrison Jones in, do we even, we could probably replace Lothab with Harrison Jones actually. Lothab is pretty decent, but I don't think it's absolutely amazing. Let's have a look uh, for the mech card that we picked up. Mech, uh, where are you my bad boy friend? Blinktron 3000, I think, let's get rid of the, the Gadget Sand Auctioneer, get the Blinktron 3000 in there. I kind of want to get another Azure Drake in here too. You know, this card is actually just so good, draws us a card when it comes into play, it's got a nice fat ass body, and oh man, I, there's just not a lot of space left in this deck, I think. I'm pretty happy with this setup, I think this looks pretty good for our Cyber Mecha Mage deck for now, guys. And uh, happy to get old Harrison and, and Blinktron. I mean, it's a combo. It's an expensive combo. But you know what? That could kick some serious butthole, man. All right. Epic stuff, guys. Let's head over into the solo adventures uh, part of this freaking sweet-ass episode. Get into Black Rock Mountain and unlock our next wing. The Black Wing Lair. And let's have a look at what we are playing for today, guys. We are playing for Re Revenge, Flame Waker, Hungry Dragon, Fire Guard Destroyer, and our legendary is going to be Chromagus. An 8 mana 6 8. Whenever you draw a card, put another copy into your hand. Damn. That seems redonkulous, man. <laughs> that seems absolutely awesome. Uh, certainly something that I will be aiming for um, to get. That looks just absolutely ridiculous. All right, let's get out of this thing. Let's crack open the Black Wing Lair. Get the key in there, baby. Show us our opponents. Bam! Oh my goodness, guys. We are taking on four opponents today. Uh, we might only have time to do two, but man, this is going to be sweet. The first one is going to unlock Revenge, which looks like a warrior card. Deal one damage to all minions. If you have 12 or less life, deal three damage instead. Oh, that's pretty sweet. And our very first Blackwing Lair opponent is... You want to come into my house? Fine. Razor Gore! <laughs> oh man, rack. this butthole is getting super bummed that we're invading his lair. Uh, let's have a look guys, Razor Gore is our opponent. You're in Nefarian's lair now. Oh, his name is Nefarian. Razor Gore and his corrupted eggs block your path. Alright, let's have a look at his hero power, the Rookery. Give all corrupted eggs plus one health and th then summon one. Alright, so he's going to be making a whole bunch of eggs, it seems. Um, I have no idea what deck to play against this particular opponent, who knows, but I suppose we should take our um, Cyberdog Hunter's deck out for a spin. Let's, I think the Hunter's deck is probably the weakest of our three primary decks. The Cyberdog Pope's deck is obviously the strongest and the Cyber Mecha Mage is probably the second strongest. So for the first opponent of the wings, let's, let's go with our weakest deck because um, it's probably going to be the weakest opponent of the four. Um, but man, I'm so excited to get going, guys. Let's kick some butthole. Hopefully he will play an equipment. Because um, Harrison Jones is itching to blow something up. I, I just can't wait to cast that card, man. It's going to be so awesome. All right, here we go, guys. Versus Razor Gore. 
Man, check out this dude. He's got some sweet art. The corrupted eggs of our new dragon flight. Let the hunt begin. All right, let's have a look at our opening hand here, guys. Looking pretty good. Hunted Creeper, Iron Fur Grizzly, and Core Rager. I th that's a pretty good curve. I'm quite happy with that. We could send back Core Rager to try get a one drop. Because Core Rager is probably just going to end up being a 4 4 for 4 in this hand. But the chances of us picking up a one drop are pretty slim. I'm going to do it anyway, though. Let's see what we pick up. It's not the... Okay, fine. I'll take Harrison Jones. No problem. Maybe it'll do something. All right, let's have a look at what we're working with over here, guys. This will be your undoing. Firstly, let's say hello Greetings, to this rude bottle. I will scramble you. <laughs> it's going to scramble me. Damn. All right, let's have a look. So we know what is hero power. What is this egg? When this minion has four or more health, it hatches. Okay, that uh, does not sound very good to me. Sounds like we want to be taking out these eggs quick, fast, and in a hurry. And uh, I've also been told by one of you cyber diggity dogs is that if we melt Ragnaros' axe and then unplug the uh, toilet... Unplug his, his toilet and then mess around with the um, the runes again. We can make things pop. Oh, there. Oh, sweet. Check it out. We made a little floating dummy things floating in the lava. Damn, that thing must be made out of some hardcore plastic, man. That is just floating in some freaking lava. What <laughs> what the chance, man? Right, let's, let's transmute for ourselves an axe and release the bat or the dragon or whatever it is <laughs> inside one of these eggs. Um, this is just tradition, guys, all right? This, this gives me good luck. This is like how I get the heart of the cards to, to be on my side. Um, but we've just drawn an animal companion. That seems pretty awesome. Nothing to do on turn one, unfortunately. So we'll pass the Stay turn back. From those he is going to heal up his egg. Make another one. Does this make an egg? Yes, it does. Hmm. That is... Uh, that ain't good, man. That ain't good. All right, I'm going to... I think I'm going to start off with the Scavenging Hyena here. Um, the Haunted Creeper is not going to be able... It's only going to be able to kill one of the eggs next turn. And I kind of want to start taking care of these eggs as fast as I can. I'm assuming when they hatch, they hatch into pretty scary things. Dragons. Um, you know, that sort of jazz. Summon something else. Can we get something else in this pool of lava? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Check at that. That is awesome. All right. So, guys, he has summoned a 2-3 Twilight Whelp. If you control it, if you're holding a dragon, gain plus 2 health. So, that's not good. I think we're going to probably have to clear out this egg over here. Play our Iron Fear, Iron Fur Grizzly sort of thing. Get some taunt action going on. That's going to trade with his Twilight Whelp. Looks like this is going to pop open, though. Oh, no. All right, what does this become? A 7-3 Chromatic Drake. All right, that's pretty hardcore. Um, we're going to have to do some seriously efficient trading over here, guys. All right, Timberwolf has come into play, which is actually pretty sweet. Um, we can actually clear these eggs now, I think. Yeah, we can. Oh, he's got that Taunt Minion in play, though. That's unfortunate. We could try get the Charging Animal Companion out of uh, this card. So let's do that. Let's see if we can get the Charger. No, but we do get Misha. That is very sweet. Uh, Misha's nice and fat. Timberwolf can come into play also. That's going to pump up all of our sweet jazz. Now, the question is, do we want to... Hmm. These eggs aren't hatching next turn, so I'm not too bothered about those eggs, to be honest. I kind of just want to pass the turn here. I don't really want to throw my Grizzly into the 2-2. Um, because next turn, the Grizzly can trade with one of its one of our old Razorgore's minions. That's going to pump up our Hyena also. Um, so I think I'm just going to pass the turn. We'll deal with the eggs next turn. All right, Wolf Rider is coming to play. It's got charge. That's not good. Our Hyena is going to get jazzed up, though. It's going to take care of the 7-3, so that's good. And Dragon's Breath is going to deal 4 damage to the Hyena. Okay, things are things are not going well now. <laughs> things have taken a turn for the worst. Um, all right, Kill Command is 
probably quite good for us. We'll be able to take out that 0-3 egg, stop it from hatching, and then we can play a Haunted Creeper. Let's play the Haunted Creeper first, though, so we can get full value out of the kill command. Take care of that egg. Job's done. Swing the turn back. If he attacks here, we'll trade with his uh, Taunt Minion, so that's good. Fairy Dragon's pretty good. All right, he's coming over the top, unfortunately. Eagle Horn Bow is a good draw for us because that means we can deal with this 1-0-3 egg. Let's trade up here, get a couple of Spiderlings, play our Eagle Horn Bow, and take out the 3 life egg, drop a Web Spinner, 2 damage to the face, send the turn back. Unfortunately, Harrison isn't really doing anything. Um, <laughs> All right, another egg has come into play, and there, this is looking kind of scary. And what is that, man? Damn, a dragon consort. The next dragon you play costs two less. Ooh, doggy, that is scary. All right, we're going to start this turn off with an animal companion. Try to get the charge companion. Yes, we got the charge companion. Excellent. Now, I think... I think we want to attack here. Trade up our web spinner for another beast. It's a young dragon hawk. That's not terrible. Let's charge into the 0 3 egg. Get rid of the 0 1 egg. Play the young dragon hawk. 2 to the base. Send the turn back. Yep, another egg comes into play. The thing is, as we get into these later turns, man, these eggs just start to occur so bad. And he's just played a 6-6. Six, six. If your opponent has 15 or less health, gets plus 3, plus 3. Damn, that's pretty good. Um, another quick shot is awesome, though. And we'll be able to actually use it for full value, which is sweet. All right, let's swing our spider into the 5-1. Get rid of that jazz. Get rid of the spiderling. And play Harrison Jones, despite it not that doing anything. We'll take care of the egg, draw a card. Sweet. And I suppose we are going over the top. Minion already attacked. Send the turn back. Okay, okay. Things are looking... Oh no, I forgot to attack with the weapon. Dang it. Forgot about that one. It might be better, actually, to hold the weapon to take out the eggs. Oh no. Something something horrible has happened. Bloodlust. Harrison Jones is biting the dust next turn. Hmm. Iron Beak Owl is pretty good. Right, let's think about this one. I think I'm probably going to have to go into the Draconid Crusher with Harrison. He's dying next turn. So I kind of want to try and get as much value out of him as I can. So let's swing into the 6-1, make it into a 6-1. Um, let's play Iron Beak Owl and silence... Shall we silence the egg? Let's silence that egg. So now that egg is completely useless. It's going to do nothing. Play Dire Wolf Alpha. Deal a couple damage and let's take care of the 2-2. Two -two. So he can come over the top, deal our 6 damage, but we'll be able to get rid of that 6-1 next turn with one of our uh, minions. Or he could just kill us. Ow! Tundra Rhino, that is pretty awesome. Okay, so let's play Tundra Rhino. Looks like we can pretty much clear the board here. I think I'm going to send the Owl into the 6-1. Direwolf Alpha into the zero one. I don't care about the zero two egg. Although he has, he's been playing this Bloodlust card, which is pretty scary. Gives his minions plus three attack this turn. So I think I probably just have to take care of the egg. Actually, we were on five life here, man. We can't really risk anything. He's down to three cards in hand, but he's making an egg every turn. I wield the power. Blackwing Corrupted. If you're holding a dragon, deal three damage. Okay, so he is holding a dragon. There it is. Oh, I thank you for that uh, free young dragon hawk. Very kind of you. 
All right, Savannah Highmaid's going to come in with um, with charge, which is really good for us. Let's play Savannah Highmaid, I think. And what are we doing here? Well, we have to clear the board, right? So let's attack into that area. These hyenas have charge too, which is really good. Are we just getting rid of this 5-4 with our, our double hyenas? I think so. Oh, by the way, man, one of these cyber dogs gave me an excellent freaking hint. You guys told me that anything that is glowing green basically indicates that I can use it. Um, and that is awesome, man. I didn't actually know that. <laughs> um, so anything that you see on your Hearthstone board that has a green glow around it means that it is available for use. I.e. you have enough mana to do it or um, it has a, a triggered ability that or an ability that is capable of being used. So thanks very much, man, for that awesome hint. Very, very sweet. All right, Stranglethorn Tiger is also pretty awesome here. Um, I, oh man, he's just busting out these dragons, though. Are we just going to trade up Stranglethorn Tiger for a 6-4? Seems highly unexciting, but I think we just have to do it. Young Dragon uh, Ling, the Dragon Hawk, can take out each of the eggs as it comes down. We are doing four damage a turn. He is almost in top deck mode. He should be able to just play both of those cards in his hand, whatever they are. Another Dragonid Crusher, which is a 9-9, so that ain't good. Web Spinner. Well, this is not looking good, guys. We're going to have to play Web Spinner. Charge it into the 9-9. Get a Taunt Beast? No! We don't get a Taunt Beast. So it doesn't look like we're going to be able to take out that 9-8, are we? Can deal 3 damage, 5 damage, 6 damage damage to the 9-8 or we can do 3 4 8 10 damage to his face oh man so close so 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 very close oh wait 4 dam no you see we, we'll only be able to deal 2 damage to this thing though because this thing won't be able to attack twice before it dies right man that is quite unfortunate um we're gonna be able to get it down to 1 and who knows, maybe he makes a mistake. <laughs> That's all we can hope for, right? He has a computer, though, so, I mean, let's, let's face it. He's not going to make a mistake. Okay, so, I think that with a little bit of tweaking, we can actually get our, um, our Cyberdog Hunter's deck to beat this opponent quite easily. All right, Cyber Diggity Dogs, welcome back. I've been doing some tweaking to the Cyberdog Hunter's deck, and I think that we should just go like full on aggro in this game. We should just try and overpower this freaking butthole as fast as we possibly can. So I've got a ton of one drops and two drops into the deck. The mana curve is super low now. Check it out eight one drops, five two drops, five three drops, and then we are finishing the game with some big spells like Ragnaros Core Hound, which is, of course, a beast. It's going to be getting a uh, haste off of our tundra rhino so that's pretty awesome we actually probably want another core hound in here um it is getting haste off of the the uh, rhino so that's pretty awesome um i think let's have a look oh yes the core hound is over here um i kind of want to get another core hound in here but how what do we drop up in this jazz man let's not drop a starving buzz and get another core hound in there all right this deck is looking nice and aggro guys let's try this configuration out i think that hopefully this is going to be enough to overpower him and uh, man we got our asses handed to us in the previous game it's kind of weird how difficult this first opponent is right i mean <laughs> blizzard are really not messing around they they are punishing us from the very first uh, stage in the blackwing lair um but you know what i'm up for the challenge man bring it on blizzard bring it on all right razor gore round two Alright, this is actually a really good looking hand, guys. We've got a Stone Tusk Boar that's going to charge and deal with that first egg right off the bat. I'm really happy about that. I'm going to send back the Starving Buzzard, though. Happy to have Iron Fur Grizzly on turn 3. Let's keep that bad boy in hand. Tundra Rhino, not a great uh, card, I suppose, but it's probably a better card than the Starving Buzzard. Um, happy to see that kill command for sure. Let's play our Stone Tusk Ball, get rid of that egg right off the bat. That's awesome, actually. Um, because that is actually so good, right? By getting rid of the egg on turn one, we basically 
in a way gain ourselves a turn because without having the egg off the table on turn one there's always an egg that's just ahead of the one that we can kill if you know what i mean so having this configuration is actually really really sweet because um, we only have to deal with one egg at a time whereas in the previous game we were dealing with multiple eggs and it was kind of hard to keep up right which is sweet so this is going pretty well until we lose our uh, stone tusk ball that is <laughs> but next turn we can play iron uh, iron for a grizzly protecting the stone tusk, tusk ball which is basically on uh, egg breaking duty right now man this is this should be called the egg crack ball <laughs> all right our, our uh, iron for grizzly is probably going to trade with the fairy dragon here which is okay i kind of feel like we're just trading water though we need to get some momentum in this game now, right? We need to really start moving forward. Let's get rid of the egg. I think I want to play sca uh, Scavenging Hyena. <laughs> and send two to the base. Job done. Hmm, I feel that was a mistake. Was that a mistake? Yes, it was a mistake. Dang it! Things were going so well. For some reason, I thought that that, um, that hyena was going to be able to get rid of this Twilight Whelp. What I should have done is just kill Commander the Whelp, I think. But nonetheless, guys, it is turn five, which means we have a Sludge Belcher to play. So that is still keeping us okay, I suppose. What you want? Well, at least we got rid of one of the minions there, so and we still have our taunt in place, so that's good. All right, Core Hound is actually, I'm quite happy to see that. Um, we could play Tundra Rhino here. That's going to give our Core Hound haste next turn. That seems pretty decent. If we play Tundra Rhino, uh, charge into the 2-2. Uh, then, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's what we can actually do, right? Check it out. We'll play Tundra Rhino. Get rid of his taunt minion. Get rid of the egg, go over the top for one. Job done. In order to get to the Tundra Rhino, he's going to have to kill the slime, which he won't do. And then next turn, our four hound will have a uh, haste. So that's awesome. And the core hound can get rid of that Azure Drake quite nicely. Or we could Savannah High Man here too, which is also a pretty good idea. Makesna is also good. Man, so many options. We could just kill command the Azure Drake. That might actually be a better plan here. If we kill command the Azure Drake, then we can play Animal Companion. Gives us a nice badass taunt minion. That's excellent. The boar can get rid of the zero one. And we can go over the top for some serious damage. Okay. I'm 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 digging this, man. Bloodlust. Well that's gonna get rid of our mission. Well, we can still get rid of the egg, and all of our minions now have haste when they come into play, which is amazing. So I think we should probably play Core Hound and Timberwolf. That's going to be doing some sick damage. And I think we might have this one in the bag. He's going to make an egg. He's going to flame heart. Fine. Got four mana left. Back to work. Cruel ta uh, Taskmaster is not going to do enough. And we did it. Yes. Epic. Take freaking. What is this thing called? Core Hound to the face. Bam. Nice. Oh man. That was epic. So the tweaks that we made to our deck absolutely won us that game. And you know what won us that game, guys? 
was that charging boar. That thing kicked so much ass in this game because it kept that turn one egg off the, the table from the very first turn all the way through the entire game, actually. So I'm going a, I'm to a give a, a VIP badge to that boar. It did an amazing job in this game. Awesome! And we picked up a couple of revenges, so that is really sweet.